Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at the MJX Bugs 7 drone, courtesy of TomTop.com. Check out their site for more cool quadcopters just like this one. Now this small folding sub 249 gram GPS drone has brushless motors, a tiltable 4K camera, and it also has plenty of automated features such as waypoints, follow me, circle me, return to home, auto takeoff, auto land, and plenty of others. So let's check it out. Now the drone comes in this small black box showing the quadcopter there in the front. And this is the Bugs 7 for ages 14 plus. And down below you can see some of its features such as its light 245 gram weight, GPS, optical flow, 5G Wi-Fi, 4K, so on and so forth. Here on the top, it just simply says 4K. Not much going on on the sides. On the bottom, it just says 4K once again. And here in the back, it just simply has the QR codes for the app and some cautionary notes right there. So that's it for the packaging and design. So let's proceed to take a closer look in the box. Let's slide out this inner portion right here. So we'll slide out that inner box and then we'll place the cover right over here. So let's open this up and take a look. And as you can see, everything's nice and neatly packed in there. You can see the controller and the drone. So let's first start out and take a closer look at the drone here. And as you can see, it's all folded and compact. Very nice, very sleek. You can see it's 4K camera there, the brushless motors. So very nice and compact here. And everything just folds out nice and easily like this and it locks firmly into place so very sleek here you could see the big LED there in the front and the uh, 4k camera so very nice and down below you could see the optical flow camera and the bright LED landing light so pretty nice and now let's take a closer look at the compact DJI Lite controller. And it has the fold-out grips down below. And then it has the fold-out antennas. And one of the antennas does actually have wiring. So it is a valid antenna. And it takes two AA batteries in the back. Now looking further into the box, let's remove this styrofoam here and look at the accessories. Here we have the instruction manuals along with the typical Bugs stickers. So pretty neat. And now this set came with two additional batteries and a dual battery charger. So a total of three batteries, one on the drone and two here in the box. You can get them with several sets of batteries, one, two, or three. And this charges here with a USB-C port right there. And then a USB uh, plug right over on that side. And then you just simply insert the two batteries as so, and then you can charge them nice and neatly there so very convenient way of charging the batteries and now looking at the little baggies of accessories here we have some little tools such as the uh, uh, screwdriver and a little wrench there to remove the uh, propellers and then here we have uh, four folding spare propellers as you can see here they're all foldable so here are the remaining accessories so that's essentially it for the box. Now let's take a closer look at the drone. Now taking a closer look at the drone, this is a very sleek, small and compact drone. It's uh, sub 249 grams, kind of like the DJI Mavic Mini. And here in the front, you could see it's 4K camera. And uh, unfortunately it is manually tiltable, so you cannot remote tilt it but you can tilt it prior to take off all the way up to 90 degrees, as you can see here. And then down below also, we have the uh, landing legs there. We have the bright landing LED and the optical flow camera sensor right down below. Right here, we have a slot for an SD card. So it does record onboard footage, which is very good. And then of course you could tilt the camera all the way back up again. And so you do have to do that prior to take off. Now, taking a closer look at the top of the aircraft, we have some small 1306 brushless motors. Unfortunately, this didn't come with any propeller guards. 
we have the bugs logo there at the top and right over here we have its on off button so you would activate the drone like that and as you could see it has a big bright led there in the front but unfortunately it doesn't have any leds on the legs or around the drone so that's the only one for orientation and then you just turn it off by simply keeping it pressed there and now taking a closer look at the battery bay of the aircraft it does come equipped with this 7.6 volt 1500 milliamp lipo battery and it does provide the quadcopter with around a 15 to 16 minute flight time and it takes around an hour and a half to two hours to fully charge and it charges with this dual battery charger that comes in the set and it is plugged in through a usb cable that has a usb c port right there at the charging bay and so you can charge both batteries at the same time, which is very convenient. And now removing and reinserting the battery is very simple and secure. Everything just snaps firmly into place. So no issues with that. And now this is a foldable compact drone. So folding it is also very simple. You just fold the arms in and you can start with either the rear or front legs. And then you align the propellers to have a proper fold. And as you can see, everything's nice and neat and compact there and uh, can be stored away. And then also unfolding it is very simple as well. You can start out with either the front or rear legs and then just fold them out and the legs snap firmly into place. So a very good folding mechanism there. So a very lightweight, sleek and compact drone that's very agile. Now let's take a closer look at its transmitter. Now taking a closer look at the transmitter, this is a very comfortable and compact DJI-like controller. And now taking a look at the back of the unit, it does have these fold-out grips that are very comfortable to use. And there's also a battery bay right here to hold two AA batteries with a lid. And so to get to that, you have to fold out the grips but the grips are very useful and also the antennas are foldable as well. You can fold them down or up and these are legitimate antennas. There's some wiring going in to this antenna right here and not on the other side, but this one antenna seems to be legitimate. And now going over the controls a little bit, we have the on off switch right here on the right. We have the motor lock and unlock button right here. Then we have the return to home button right over on this side. And then we have the photo and video button here. So a short press takes a photo, long press takes a video. Then we have the auto takeoff and land button right here on this side. And then we have the LED light or rate of speed switch button right here. So a quick press will turn on or off the light and a long press will change between the two rates of speed, high and low. And as you notice, there are no rolling wheels on either of the sides to tilt the camera since this is not a remote tilting camera. And then on the right side here, we have the GPS mode button on or off. So you can turn that feature on or off. And then we have our left throttle stick followed by our right rudder stick. And then now also looking at the screen, there's a lot of telemetry on there. We have the battery levels of both the drone and controller. We have the signal strength. And then we have the GPS mode on or off, as you can see here. And also, if you toggle the rates of speed, you can see that being displayed as well. And then we have the number of satellites and the distance and height. So a lot of good telemetry and information displayed on the screen. And at the top of the unit, we have this fold out mobile device mount and as you could see it stretches out quite a bit so it could definitely hold the large cell phone but not quite a tablet and then of course it folds back in as well so overall a very nice compact controller that provides the quadcopter with around a three to four hundred meter range of control so now let's take a look at setting this up for a first time flight and its app now setting up for a first time flight is very straightforward. Once you have a fully charged battery inserted into the drone along with an SD card and have a fresh set of batteries inserted into the transmitter along with the mobile device, you would proceed to activate the drone by pressing its on off button at the top and you should see the lights flash 
At that point, you'd press the red motor unlock button on the controller and keep it pressed while turning it on. That should bind the controller with the aircraft. And so now you're bound and you should see the lights on the front of the drone flash indicating you need to perform the GPS compass calibration. So you'd rotate the drone about three or four spins on its flat horizontal axis until you see the lights change as such. And then you'd face the quadcopter upwards and rotate it another three or four spins clockwise until the lights change once again. At that point, you'd simply wait for the drone's light to turn green, indicating that enough satellites have locked on for return to home. You can also calibrate the drone's gyros by moving both sticks down and to the left, but make sure that the drone is at the flat ground level and not moving when that's done. At this point, you can simply unlock the motors with the red button and provide altitude or hit auto takeoff. But at this point, we want to connect to the drone's Wi-Fi to use its app. So once in your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings, you want to look for an entry that says drone4 underscore and a serial number. And initially, there is no default password or anything like that. So you'd simply connect to that Wi-Fi entry. And once connected, you would go ahead and launch this app right over here, which is the MRC Pro, as you can see with this little drone icon. And it's in both the iOS and Android app stores. So you'd simply download and launch that and you'll be greeted with this start screen right here. And in this screen, you can change your language preferences on the upper left or view your photo gallery on the lower right. But primarily you want to click start at the center and you will see this help screen that shows you what all the icons within the app mean. And right away, you should get a live feed with the quadcopter, as you can see here. And this uses 5G Wi-Fi for its FPV transmission. And as you could see here, it has a pretty low latency, good clarity FPV transmission. And the FPV range on this is around 300 meters or so. So a pretty good range. And as you can see, the quality is pretty good. And so now going over the app a bit, it has plenty of features and functionality, along with a lot of telemetry and information, such as number of satellites, the battery level of the drone and controller, the signal strength. Then there's also this view mode where you can adjust whether you see uh, no icons or all the icons, whether you put it in FPV uh, VR mode or whether you flip the image upside down if necessary. So a lot of view modes there. And then this icon on the far right is for the settings. You can adjust the max flight altitude and distance. You can perform GPS or gyro calibration from here. And then we have our status page that shows if we've done all these calibrations and if the barometer status is proper. And then here we have our flight logs to show the time and dates of certain flights. And then also we have our camera settings right over here. And here you can adjust the resolution, either 4K or 2.5K of what you record or take pictures at. And then we have uh, other uh, camera settings here, such as brightness, exposure, contrast. And so you can adjust a lot of qualities here of the uh, pictures and images. And here you can adjust the FPV frame quality and frame rate and memory usage for the FPV transmission. So a lot of good options to adjust here. And then we have the uh, 50x zoom. And this is just a digital zoom. It's not a true optical zoom, but you can use this feature. And then also we have the different modes of flight available such as being able to fly the aircraft with just using the app, using the virtual controls. So you would swipe here and use the visual on-screen joysticks to fly the aircraft. Then we have follow me, orbit me, and then we also have headless mode as well. So you can enable that feature to take selfies and uh, fly the aircraft in headless mode. Then we also have the map mode. And so if you click on the picture in picture here, you have the map mode available here where you could draw waypoints and submit those waypoints using the icon on the lower right. And uh, you could have basically the aircraft fly that pattern. And of course you could switch back to FPV view. And in this view you have your telemetry as well, such as the distance, height, 
horizontal and vertical speeds, your return to home icon, your auto takeoff icon, your photo and video icons. So a lot of neat features and capabilities with this app. So overall, a lightweight, agile drone with a lot of great features at a low price, which include 4K camera, GPS, brushless motors. So a lot of nice features packed into a sub 249 gram quadcopter that uh, doesn't require any form of registration and is completely safe. So highly recommended. And now let's take it out for a flight and see how she performs.